This is part two of making a sprite move using x and y variables, or x and y amounts, I should say. Uh, in this case, the effect that I want is to be able to have a sprite move and then sort of glide to a stop more naturally. And I can try to demo it here if I run this guy. Um, now I know you can't see me hitting the arrow keys, but if I hit the right arrow key, it'll go to the right and then kind of drift to a stop, or the left arrow key. It's a little hard to tell, but it is in fact, it is in fact drifting a little bit as I move it. I'll use up, down, right, left arrow keys, and you can see that it kind of continues to drift. And if you actually play a game like this, you'll find it sort of a different effect and kind of cool, actually. It's a, it's a nice way to make sprites move. So how do I do it? Well, what I did was I created two variables one called x amount, one called y amount. These are global variables. And again, you can call these variables anything you want. I could have called this pizza and this cookies, but I called the first variable x amount because it's going to control the x distance that the sprite moves, and y amount is going to control the y distance that the sprite moves. So when I hit the green flag, initially I'm setting x amount and y amount to zero, and then I have this do forever loop that changes the x distance, changes the x value by some x amount, changes the y value by some y amount. And then these next two lines, these are tricky. You have to really think about what's going on here. I'm changing or I'm setting the x amount to whatever the x amount was times 0.95. So that makes the x amount decrease by some amount. It's decreasing by 5% each time and I'm doing the same thing to the Y amount. So if I run this again, I'll, I'll show you, I'll hit the left arrow key. You can look at the variables here and you can see that they increase and then they, if I let go, it goes back to zero. And I'll, I'll go the other way. You can see X amount increases, then by itself it's going back to zero. Well, what's causing it to go back to zero? That's this line right here. The X amount is, is becoming 95% of what it was until it goes back down to zero. I really do hope that you understand this. This is a little sophisticated here, but this is, you're, you're multiplying by some amount less than one, so it's decreasing. So that creates this sort of drifting effect, which is nice if you have some character like my guy's underwater and he's drifting. So I'm only showing you part of the code. Your job is to figure out what the other four scripts, the arrow up, arrow down, arrow right, and arrow left do in order to make the character go like you see on the screen. Obviously, the right arrow is going to have to do something to the variable x amount, and same with the left arrow, and the up and down arrows are going to be doing something with the y amount. They're going to be changing or setting or doing something to the y amount. So again, your job is to make four more scripts so that this thing works as you see. One script, obviously, for each arrow key to change the X and Y amounts correctly so that the thing works and looks really cool like mine. All right, get to work.